Let's look at a list of the top 20 items that you should never sell that are banned on eBay that can get you booted pretty much instantly. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to look at a list of the top 20 things that are banned on eBay that you should never list ever. These items could get you kicked off the site permanently, pretty much immediately. This in no way is a complete list of everything that is banned, and there also may be some government regulated items or government banned items that may not be included in this list either. For anybody who sells on eBay, it is your personal responsibility to know what is or isn't banned on eBay. Number 20 on my list is expired food. You cannot list expired food on eBay. Now I do see some exemptions from that which seem to be vintage items that are being sold for collectibles and not as an edible item. Number 19 on my list is US government post office shipping supplies. You can't sell boxes, tape, or anything like that. Nor can you use them illegally to ship your own items through another means. Number 18 on my list is any type of bootlegged item. Nothing that's bootlegged such as a DVD, a CD-ROM, a video game of any sort can be listed on eBay. As well as being banned on eBay, they all are illegal. Now I have seen some exemptions that still get by such as bootlegged records from live shows and concerts. Number 17 on my list are live active credit cards, debit cards, or money orders. Those are all illegal to sell. Technically, most any type of bank card is also illegal, even if it is expired or decades old. Number 16 on my list is any type of software key codes, such as a Windows 10 key code or anything along that line are completely banned, whether they are legit or not. Number 15 on my list are used cosmetics. Pretty much any type of used cosmetics are supposed to be banned on eBay. Now I do see some of those get by as well, such as vintage ones that are being sold as collectibles. Number 14 on my list are chance listings and mystery boxes. Nothing like that are allowed to be sold on eBay. If you are selling something on eBay, you have to show everything that is included or list it in the description, depending on the type of listing you are doing. Number 13 on my list are mailing lists or personal information. You cannot sell a mailing list of any sort that gives out personal information of any type, nor can you just sell files of personal information. Number 12 on my list are used underwear and socks. Another thing most people are unaware of if they sell clothing on eBay is that every piece of clothing that's used has to be washed properly before you sell them. Number 11 on my list are hazardous, restricted, and regulated items such as fireworks. Now many people try to skirt the system by listing them as just empty labels with nothing in them. But all of that sort of thing is illegal if you're bypassing it, as well as being banned on eBay. Number 10 on my list are counterfeit items such as currency, money, coins, silver, bullion, and stamps. All of that sort is banned. Now there is a difference in the stamp area as well as some of the other ones when the word replica appears on them or when they're in say postal area and they're considered Cinderella's or fantasy pieces. There is a separate category on eBay for those sorts of items. Number nine are items from certain countries that are banned by the US government such as Cuba, North Korea, Ukraine, Syria, and Iran. All of those sorts of items are banned on the site. Such as in the case of Cuba, it doesn't matter whether they are pre- or post-war items. Number eight on my list is alcohol and tobacco. Now, in some cases, you can be approved to sell wine on eBay as a wine seller, but you have to be pre-approved by eBay. Other than that, all of those items are pretty much banned. Occasionally, you will see an unopened pack of vintage cigarettes from, say, World War II or before. Those are technically banned on the site as well. Number seven on my list is offensive and hate-related items. Items such as KKK-related items or German items from World War II. Now, there are some areas that you still can sell on eBay, such as stamps, coins, and currency can be sold if they have a swastika on them. 
If you're unaware, though, that symbol, the swastika, has been used as a peace symbol for hundreds and hundreds of years. You can find them in the Middle East, you can find it in India, as well as Native American symbols that use that very same emblem. And those items would be allowed to still be listed as well. Number six on my list are endangered species and wildlife related items such as ivory, tortoise shell, and in some cases even bone. Now you can list bone items though such as bovine, but you have to list that in the description. Bovine being a cow based product. Number five on my list is police related items such as uniforms, IDs, and things along that line. Badges are also banned unless they are obsolete and you have certification from a local department that proves that those items are obsolete. Other items that fall under that list are government IDs, government things along that line, such as military manuals. The vast majority of military manuals, whether they are 50 or 70 years old, still can be on the banned item list. Other items that the government bans on this area can be locks with keys for railroads and things along that line, even the post office that still would be usable today. Even if they are 100 years old, they are still banned from being listed as well as illegal in many cases. Number four on my list is Slim Jims, lock picking items, and surveillance items. Now, a Slim Jim is something you can use to pick a lock in older cars if you're unaware. Any type of lock picking devices are also banned, even if you are a licensed lock picker. As well as surveillance items, whether they are digital, analog, or whatever the case may be, are banned from being sold on eBay. Even items such as digital items that will block identities and things like that are banned as well. Now, number three on my list are illegal drugs, obviously, as well as drug-related items and paraphernalia. Now, you can sell some vintage items such as marijuana postage stamps, which were issued by the federal government in the 1910 era, as well as some other things along that line that are all vintage that do not contain, obviously, anything in it. Collectible-related items still do sell. You can also list seeds and live plants in many cases that may still be tied to this area. Number two on my list are guns and knives and weaponry in general. Now you can list some gun parts, but you cannot list anything that has a receiver nor a receiver itself. The receiver is the part where you actually load the bullet or the shell or the device into. Flare guns and starter guns can be banned in many cases also. Other items that are banned would be switchblades, paratrooper knives, butterfly knives, and throwing stars also. Number one on my list is human body parts, human grave remains, grave markers, and things along that line. Now, there are some exceptions to that rule if they're cleaned bones and used for the medical line of service. In many cases, though, if you do possess those, the government may require you to have a certificate of registration of where that piece came from. Now, human body parts may seem strange to find on eBay, but I have printed off listings where people have tried to sell kidneys and things along that line on eBay. That is actually a criminal offense. Prior to some of those items being taken down, though, they reached into the millions of dollars. But that is the list I have for you today. They are not in any specific order, but those are some of the key items that you definitely do not want to try to list. And in many cases, you don't even want to be in possession of those items as well well. Now on the grave marker side you will also see some items that are illegal and banned as well that people still try to get away with. The VFW GAR markers, World War I veteran markers that would sit on a grave that are bronze, copper, or brass are illegal as well. Those are freebies that were supplied by the U.S. government and cannot be sold because they are official government grave markers. Well, there you are. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends.